this particular reading than use those other placements. Um, this is going to be about what spirit wants to tell you. It is going to probably include love. Love usually is involved in these reads, but we're going to go a little more general and just ask uh, some messages from your higher self as well as, um, yeah, what's going on in the month of February and what you need to know. Um, I do give personal readings. My information is in the description box. Um, my recorded reads start as low as $22. And, um, yeah. Saturn return. You guys coming of age? Some of you guys might be, like, in a midlife crisis coming of age. <laughs> or your person is. Saturn twice. Some of you guys are, like, maybe older, like 56 coming of age. Or some others of you might be in that 29-ish category. Um, Saturn return or 30, moving into adulthood or moving into midlife. Um, some of you guys might be dealing with a Capricorn as well. You guys are like, who's Aquarius? For some of you, you might be with a Pisces, balancing out energy, moving away. Okay. I'm kind of getting that like <laughs> coming out of the shadows into the light. Okay. I'm not getting like the Pi like I'm not getting the Piscean like you know characteristics as much as well a little bit but it, more I'm thinking twelfth house. I'm thinking the twelfth house where the shadows come to light into the first house, moving out of the twelfth house into the first house into expressing what has been hidden, and this is kind of this Saturn return moving into your truth of who you are, true healing, um, true knowingness. Um, believing in yourself as well as um, shit, like shining, shining, shining and expressing from your spiritual place, right? Like moving out of the mental realm, moving out of the, the false sense of self, moving out of the have tos into the wanting tos, into the spirit promptings, into the magical realm, bringing heaven and the spirit of the sun into manifestation. Sacrifice wanted to come out through Neptune. Again, what the hell? It's like you're willing to sacrifice your money, your career, your sense of stability, what you thought was in order to live from the heart. You want your career, your your meaning in life, your um, yourself and your vision to be expressed from your heart, from spirit. Like with the 10th house, it's like you're sacrificing your career to make your career from your heart, Aquarius. If there's a relationship here, it's learning the truth about this relationship and seeing the spiritual perspective on it. I'm getting a stomach ache for some reason. I wonder what that's all about. There he is. Yeah, it's really moving into this sun energy. For some of you, there's Leo energy really coming in strong. Happiness. It's moving out of like the half twos and moving out of the wanting twos. Spiritual inspiration, being inspired. Um, here's your own energy, the queen of voices. Hmm. I feel like you're speaking from, you cutting out this old belief system. You're only leading with spirit and truth. You're moving out of a Capricorn kind of energy into a Piscean energy of creative energy bringing heaven into manifestation into light cutting out the the crumbs and the crows and the the sticky stuff that holds you down you're cutting them out closer and higher into truth you come the less it can stick to you some of you guys are going to have a soulmate come back into your life or you're going to meet a soulmate you really are moving into this lovely innocent energy Playful energy. Oddly enough, this little child here is playing with Saturn. <laughs> it's like you're not being taken by Saturn. You're not being bitch slapped by Saturn. You're playing with it. Oh, isn't Saturn so fun? 
And, you know, in a sense, this is sort of like Saturn, like, oh, remember the times when I was young and having fun and I was playing with Saturn and now I am stuck in Saturn? No, you're moving back into playing with Saturn. I'm playing with the world. You know, you don't have to play with Saturn. It's fun. It's fun to do your work. Work becomes fun. Work becomes heavenly. Or, or relationships do. Or life does. Things become happy. Your perspective is changing into this lot of Piscean energy. For some of you, you're manifesting a Pisces or a Leo is coming in. Big, strong, strong. Some of you guys are a water sign. There you are, too. Just moving into your true self with the full, true nature, changing your perspective, getting out of Saturn energy, getting out of the have tos, getting out of the constructs, getting out of the pattern, pattern, pattern. Yeah. And that really wanted to show up. Your major arcana is really wanting to show up for you. You got the sun, you got the hanged man, you got the fool. That's pretty powerful. Mm hmm. And then you got the Two of Cups, this love coming in, harmony. This is such a positive read. It's ridiculous, Aquarius. Yeah, you're getting out of the... Yeah. Tower. What was built off of Saturn energy, Capricorn energy, where you're using the external for your benefit? No offense to Capricorn, because Capricorn has lovely, lovely, lovely energies as well. But I'm just giving you a general Saturnish energy that you are you are moving from. Like you're there's no I have to do this stuff. It's like you are aligning with heaven, and you are doing what you believe in now, and you are sacrificing. Yes, it might be a lot of money. It might be an old construct, an old belief system, an old relationship, an old. Um, structure that made you feel comfortable no 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 those that's over it's that you're moving out of that this might this month might be your time i'm moving fully out of that into what i believe in into heaven into the heavenly realms into the spiritual realms and i will sacrifice what is not that to live through my heart heart's desires spirit's desires in that you will cut out anything that keeps you from that and you will call in. I, I see a lot of you calling in a harmonious relationship from a soulmate. Um, some of you guys may be a return of somebody. Um, but it's, you know, it's just going to come in when your whole concept of this world changes. And it is changing this month. It's collapsing. It's totally anything built off of this kind of energy, the have to energy. Um, it's moving into the I want to. It just isness. It's fun, childlike, pleasure, happiness. That's what you're building your new life of. And yes, it feels like a sacrifice, but you know it's not. And by the end of this time period of this reading, it's you know it's not. Because you, your perspective's completely changed. You're, you're moving into a magical realm where you're painting a whole new painting. And it's harmonious. It's full of love. It's full of emotion. It's full of innocence. It's full of lightness, happiness. Cool, man. What else we got for Aquarius? Yeah, there might be a love offer coming in from a earth sign. Very stable. Um, if it's not, you're moving into a place of just a lot of sound emotion. Mature, emotional maturity. And we have the moon. If the moon has a lot to do with this change for you. It's really influenced it. It's a big part of your release. This Leo moon coming in. We got the Leo, Leo energy cards here. Um, they're bringing you, the Leo moon is bringing you out of Saturn <laughs> into heaven, into spirit. And you're sacrificing those things that did cause, you know, give you some kind of stability, some kind of success, even some kind of clout, some kind of attachment. And you're sacrificing it up during this time. You're going to completely release it. Um, and move into this. A lot of you guys are really attracting. Oddly enough, there's a Saturn on her stick. <laughs> like you're playing with Saturn now. You're playing with the world. It is your play time play playground 
You're an empress energy now. You're calling in whatever it is that the seeds that you were planting, the seeds that spirit are planting for you. You're calling them in. You're accepting them. You're receiving them. New canvas, new painting, two of wands. Very much a passionate relationship could be coming in for you. Or you just have a lot of passion for your life. And this whole new age of Aquarius, you're building from scratch, from love, from happiness, from lightness, from childlike innocence, from passion. Got a lot of feminine energy, a lot of desires met, a lot of creative, creative energy coming in for you, Aquarius. Some of you, the masculine might be a um, water sign. And if it's a feminine energy, it would be, some of you might be a fire sign. Yeah, there's someone is definitely going to offer a new beginning with you um, or new job offer. There's something that is going to be offered up to you in, by the end of this month, I see. Mm -hmm. And whatever you are protecting yourself from, it might've been somebody you were protecting yourself from. They're going to offer um, an apology or a new start for some of you. Yeah, they want to start something new. Somebody has a lot of passion for you. There's a lot of passion coming in for you, Aquarius. Um, I almost feel like you're going to start to see this really coming into fruition soon because I do feel like a lot of this is kind of unraveling due to the energies of the full moon right now, today. As I play with my moon. This, this like, nonetheless, I have a moon thing. Yeah, the fool card. You're taking a leap of faith. You're leaving a construct that you've been a part of your whole life and you're going to go ahead and leave it. Okay, some of you guys might be getting a divorce, like completely leaving something. You're divorcing something, a, a, a belief system, a lifestyle, a relationship that really was just made your heart hard. It hardened your heart. You're leaving it. You're leaving it. And I do feel like it's that full moon again. It's this full moon. That's just, it's like... You guys might be feeling it tonight or maybe the next couple days. Like, I'm jumping. I'm jumping from this heavy, heavy Saturn crap. And I'm just going to play with it now. I'm just going to play with it. In the most beautiful, childlike way. And you will have victory. You will, whatever, if, if, if there's like a question like, will this blah, blah, blah happen for me? Yeah, it will. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's new beginnings. There's new energy coming in for you. There's definitely somebody that wants to talk to you, for some of you, with a fire sign. Um, yeah, it's just, it's also so much success coming your way. Yeah. Um, some of you guys might be manifesting teacher energy. Um, you might find, like, a spiritual teacher, or you might become more of a spiritual teacher, guiding messages from above that you're receiving from heaven, that you're receiving from your spirit. Oh my God. Yeah, you're really moving into a place of peace and happiness. Again, the sun. The sun and the moon come out a lot. This is this real kind of blending of duality. This is a very strong sense of separation, Saturn. You gotta do this and you gotta do this and you gotta follow in this, this you know, um, what is good, what is bad, what is right, what is wrong. You got to follow that if you're, otherwise you're outside of the line and then you're bad if you do that. Like it's just a lot of kind of heavy energy of telling you how the matrix works, how good and bad works, how you, what you're supposed to think. And there's a lot of guilt and shame that can come with that and a lot of like following, falling in a certain line or construct, right? That is not like with the moon and the sun coming. It's like you're able to see that that's been created by you and that you can recreate that. And when you are in alignment with your truth, with the sun, with the light, the projected ideas of what is good and bad and right or wrong, a lot of times were built off of the wrong foundations. <laughs> And then we're told to us that they were good and bad and right or wrong. You're moving into that truth. 
And you're going to find a lot of peace in that. You're also going to be moving into the realization that it's all you. So it's all created by you. It is all you. Learning how to be human in the world, but not of it. Exactly. Observing. There's an awakening going on. I feel like some of you guys are awakening like right now. Okay. But trust the timing. Okay. Trust the timing. Move into a state of trust. This is all unfolding for you. The success is yours. There it might feel like a sacrifice to the energy of the Saturn. All right. But the awakening and the activation and the integration time will be when it's going to be. Okay. But I feel like really you're in alignment. You're in alignment with this. Um, Saturn return energy can feel very transformative. It can feel very ego death like. It can feel like a sacrifice to transition into a new way. It, there's a little bit of a death and a rebirth, a definite transition. But where you're going is, is a heavenly realm that you're bringing back on and building within this world. Very age of Aquarius, Aquarius. Um, if you're asking about a person, trust the timing. All of this must come together before you manifest this childlike Beautiful love. That's really, I feel like, for you. I feel like for some of you, you have not met the one, but you're in, like, the one that's gonna, there is no the one, but you haven't met that one that's in alignment with you quite yet, but they're coming as you embrace this empress energy more and more. Um, you learn how to be in the world, but not of it, and you transition, you know, like, you sacrifice the old for for the abundant new, right? And you move into this like joyful happiness. Yeah, I do think that um, there'll be a, a wave that they come in on and there is a time for that uh, as well. I do see that coming in. Some of you guys might be leaving a really conf um, confined relationship or job or situation like I kind of see that going on right now mm, you're cutting it out though for your own happiness and you will call in somebody does for some of you somebody does want to apologize and all that kind of stuff um stay in this energy and just follow the guidance from this this lovely abundant light that is coming and activating and and in which you are embodying yourself, Aquarius. So I think I'm kind of long-winded on this one. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Um, please like, share, and subscribe if you did. If not, whatever. You can like, share, and subscribe anyway, just to send me some love and sugar. Or you can hate it if you really have to. <laughs> I just think it's funny, honestly, like the, the people that hate on it, like, it trips me out actually like it doesn't necessarily bother me but I'm surprised that that's a thing but <laughs> but it is it's a thing so it's good and to me it's just those aspects of myself that are still criticizing and complaining and there's nothing wrong with that it's just something that needs to be transmuted still right so it's good to see where I'm at so thank you guys for reflecting and and and, and sharing your energy with me and being a part of my collective and all that stuff so i really do appreciate you i do give personal readings information's in the description box take care aquarius have a great month